So first of all, I wanted to talk just a little bit about what an annuity is and the fact that an annuity is basically either a stock or a bond. Okay? It's something that you're putting so much money in periodically and it's usually um, either a company stock or a bond or a government bond. Okay? What, what is the difference between a stock and a bond, first of all? Do you guys know the difference? Stocks are more risky. Stocks are more risky. That's correct. I almost said whiskey. <laughs> risky. What else do we know about them? Not as high of a return rate. Yeah. Um, bonds, have a lower return rate. bonds have a lower return rate. Yes. Okay. But when you guys look at the difference between them, it looks as if stocks have a lower return rate. But that does not count selling a stock after it ri raises in value. Okay. So in general, stocks have a higher return rate, but not on paper. Okay. Um, the thing, what is actually the difference between a stock and a bond? If a company sells you a bond, what are they actually selling you? Stock. Nope. What, what is the actual thing, that when a company sells you a bond, what are they actually selling you? Or what are you actually doing? That's a good guess. So buying a piece of their company, that is actually a stock, okay? A stock is when you're getting a slice of the pie, so to speak, okay? But a bond is when you're actually loaning money to the company and they're returning it with interest. Totally different, okay? So a bond is usually shorter term and you're just, it's a loan and it's less risky. Okay, so here we're going to be looking at a value of an annuity compounded one time per year and this is our uh, formula for it and I want you guys to take a second and look below the, the terms on here are the same as what they were before P is your principal or the amount that you're putting in or your payment each time R is your rate in terms of decimal T is in the amount of time once again R on the bottom is your rate so here look at this, this sentence it says invest 4000 at the end of each year at 6.5% compounded annually for 40 years. Take a minute right now and see if you guys get the same formula I do. Okay? Okay, so hopefully you guys got the same thing I did. Here's what I have. I put 4000 in for P, bracket, okay, and then I have 1 plus 0 0.065 to the 40th power minus 1 which if you put that into your calculator it should be 11.416 okay and then divided by 0 0.065 so your payout after 40 years should be seven hundred two thousand five hundred twenty seven dollars and sixty six cents now note that you guys might have a difference in so many cents than mine it could be the way that you rounded it when you were putting it into your calculator okay so as long as you're within a dollar you're probably pretty good for our purposes, if you were an accountant, that wouldn't be good enough. You have to be really close. Okay? All right. Yes, question. Okay. Let's look at the next one. We're looking at value of an annuity. This time, it's compounded several times in a year. The first, the one before us was one time a year. Now, if n equals one, if I replace my ends in this one, you would get the same exact equation as what we just used. So is that just showing different options? Yeah, so if it's more than one time a year, this is what you're going to use. But it's 40 times a year. No, 40, oh, 40 years. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh. What does it say? Where does it say? So look, read this. It says deposit 100 at the end of every six months with a rate of 4.5% compounded semi annually. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. So what is your N in this case? Mm, 0.45. Nope, that's your rate. 25. 2, because it's semi-annually. Mm. So take a minute right now, and I want you guys to try to put this into your equation, okay? Okay, so what you should have gotten, oops, 
moving this all over the cake place, is this. Okay? Now look at only the stuff in black right now. Okay? The stuff in black is what you should have gotten. And it says that after the end of 25 years, when you put in $100 every six months, you should have gotten $9,075.56. The stuff in red, I just brought this up as a separate thing. So I want to know how much interest I made besides what I put into the account. Okay? So in order to find out that, I need to find out what I personally put into the account, not what I made from the bank or, or the annuity. So if I'm putting in $100 every six months, that's twice a year, in 25 years, I should have put in $5,000 into the account. What I actually, what the interest was paid to me was the amount of the annuity after 20, uh, 25 years minus that $5,000. So that's how much interest was paid to me. That's a lot. It's almost doubling what I put in in interest. Uh, this is a six right here. No, uh, this is a zero. Okay? Okay, the last formula I want to talk about today is th what payments you have to make in order to get a goal that you have made for yourself in the future. Okay? So, for instance, you want to buy a house. Are you, do are you looking at retirement? What do you have to put into your account every month or semi-annually or yearly in order to get to that goal? So, this is the exact same formula that we used just now, except that it's solved for P. That's the, the, the payments that you're going to make in times a year. Okay? A is your future amount. So looking here, we have how much should you deposit the end of each month into an IRA that pays 6.5% compounded monthly to have $3 million when you retire in 45 years? Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is use this formula. I want you to take a moment to do that now. All right, so let's look at this one. If we have this, we will look at the red. That's what you should have written down for this one. 3 million times 0 0.065 divided by 12. So if you take that and, and it ends up with 16,250 divided by 17.45, Monthly, you will be putting into the account $929.10. The last part of this was asking you about how much interest was actually paid to you, and that's kind of interesting. Because if I take this $929.10, multiply it by the 12, because I'm paying in monthly, times the 45 years, I only put into this account $501,660, but they paid me about $2.5 million. That's a lot of interest. That is a lot of interest they've paid me. So you guys can see the value of putting in more every month in the compounding every month. The last thing I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about today was this right here. This is a typical output of what you'll see in the newspaper of what happened in the stock today. Did they crash? No. So you guys, there's a really good section in the book, a part of the section that you should read through, and it has a great example that I want you guys to read. I'm not sure what page it was. I'll look it up. So that's it. Yeah.